Richie Innocent, you see the youth some out there? Tell them wise words. When your parents talk to you like the great toots, make sure you don't listen. Because some Is dark the clothes the out there. Matthew was a youth who come from Kingston. Never see my street yet without him gone. Create mischief everywhere that him turn. Say ya, him run the place, the place, the place. Me talk to the youth and the youth never hear. Tell me him a shatter and how him no care. Who him a go shoot from who him no fear. Say ya, him laugh the spear, the spear, the spear. He never see the trouble. Never see the trouble I hate. Them never know. They never see the trouble I hate. Them a feel it, I know, man. Never see the trouble I hate. A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Prime Time with Big Stone. Today we're still on the topic of Toots Eberts. We're here with a, an aspiring artist, a dub poet, a real brother. And the reason why I'm talking to this brother is because he was one of the last artists to have gone into the studio and record a nice, beautiful song that you're going to be hearing with the late, great Toots Ibert. We're talking about Everton Lawrence, but if I say Everton Lawrence, you might not recognize him. But if I say wise words, then of course, you know, the dub poet, entrepreneur, is relevant. Welcome to Prime Time. My brother, Big Stone, give thanks, you know. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking the necessary precautionary measure in maintaining social distancing and of course we're wearing a mask now i've been wanting to talk to you wise word for the longest right that's definitely so and you've been very evasive and not elusive and not evasive <laughs> <laughs> but no better time like the present because sometimes out of negative we do have positive and because he was going so far and negative act of the pandemic, it slows him down a bit. So we're using that negative for our own positive. Yes, timing is everything. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about who is Everton Lawrence? Well, Everton Lawrence, um, you know, he's just a young man who gets older by the days and the years. Um, I was born in um, Springfield, St. James. Mm -hmm. That's in the western part of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I came to Kingston in about um, 1984. And I remember the, the month and day vividly, March 7th, 1984. Okay. And my bus fare at the time from Montego Bay to Kingston was $15. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, Big Stone a time, is a mighty a long time. Long time. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I went up to, um, right at the foot of Jacks Hill, just south of Barbican Square, mm -hmm. um, to a lady who was doing um, catering. Okay. Right? And I, I went there as a you know, as a, as a yard boy, so to speak, mm -hmm. you know, a butler, because yes. I live on premises and I was right. working there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was 16 years old at the time, you know, and, um, you know, I started doing kitchen work and, uh, you know, gardening and all them sort of stuff mm -hmm. there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But during that time, I was, of course, always interested in music because my mother used to sing in church. Oh. Yes, my mother okay. used to sing in church and I was always a lover of singing, music, melodies, I love that, you okay. know? Okay. And the boss even used to say to me, um, my, 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 you know, everybody have a call name, my alias name. So my mm -hmm. alias name is Gary, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And she said, um, Gary, why you don't go to the studio? Now poor me, Big Stone, I don't know what is a <laughs> studio <laughs> or where a studio is. And I don't have anybody who is affiliated to a studio because yeah, I'm yeah. a fresh country boy. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. I would always play of my little transistor radio in the corner of the kitchen counter and play songs like, you know, Bob Marley and Peter Tosh and all of them, um, you know, tunes there, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, music, that's how I came about. But of course, um, you know, Wise Words, you know, I take on the name Wise Words in, the, um, in about um, 2014, 2013, there about, mm -hmm. because I was um, writing music. I was always in music, yeah? You have a right for anybody prominent? 
Um, I used to be around Tristan Palmer. Okay. Right? Really? I used to be around Tristan Palmer and I write a couple of tunes for Tristan. There were a couple of artists at um, Tristan where I used to write for. I used to be the man with the pen. Okay, great. Yeah? Great, 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 and I had this great. love for music and even before that, Tristan and I used to do some production, some musical production, mm. you know? Which nobody have ever heard about that. Yeah. You well, know? they will uh, once you explode and I know after this interview, you're going to be on every single lips of everyone on the planet Earth. Well, we hope so. <laughs> All right, we, we know so. you have done a lot of things. We have seen you on a lot of shows in, in regard to Honorable Marcus Garvey. Yes. And we'll speak to you in depth about that. But let's fast forward it now to September 11th. Mm -hmm. Toots Ibert. Yes. Why is it so heart-rending for you? Because when I spoke to you, you were practically crying. Yes. Why did you feel it so much? I mean, um, my, my short moment with um, this um, iconic legend mm -hmm. was seeming like I, 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 like I found a father. Wow. Like I found a father, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, the the, the, the soft-spoken gentleman, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That, that kindness, that smile, you mm -hmm. know? And, mm -hmm. and of course, those encouragement that he gives, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He knows that I'm a dog poet, you know? Was mm -hmm. one of the first time that he was seeing me. And right. I, yes, you know what I mean? And he loved the work that I was doing. Because he said, um, first thing he said, you have your no motor, you know? I said, yes, King, <laughs> yes, King, I know motor, you know? I yes. said, Mota is my good friend, man. Mota is my good friend, you know? Yes. And he said, I love the poetry, you know? I love poetry because I think that poetry is everything, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And once he said that big stone, it's like he struck a chord with me, you know what I mean? And I said, look, I'm in the presence of this great man, you know? As a matter of fact, at the time, I didn't even, um, I didn't even pray on that statue that he has. Mm. I just went into his place, it was like a, I'm going into a king's throne. <laughs> the, the, the man's place was, when I went to his studio, the man's place was so clean, so quiet, so humble. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes. The trees around, you understand, you know, those farms are a canopy of shade. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes. The ambience, you know, then yes. you step into his studio, it's like a royal place you're going. Wow. And when he spoke, he spoke so softly to me. You know what I mean? And the encouragement that he gave and said, listen, you're gonna make it. Yeah. You're gonna make it. Use the same words that you're doing, you understand, and chant for righteousness. Chant because the people are looking for comfort in your words. So you are now entrusted with this thing you know now poetry to go out there and make something of yourself and of others that others can be um you know um live with. Right? We're here, ladies and gentlemen, talking to Everton Lawrence, aka Wise Words. Is the last artist to actually have gone into the studio and did a recording with the late great Toots Ibers. And we're here talking to him about that opportunity to sit with an icon, a man of the caliber of a Toots Ibers, who is equivalent to Bob Marley, who is equivalent to Jimmy Cliff, who is equivalent to a uh, Burning Spear, who is equivalent to Bonnie Whaler, Peter Tosh, all these icons were made because of the substantial contribution that they have given to their country, Jamaica. In the studio with Toots Ibert, how did that song come about? And tell us the name of the song. Well, the song is titled, Never See the Trouble Ahead. Wow. Let's, let's exaggerate a little bit. Never see the trouble ahead. Wow. Yes, yes. That song, because none of us saw the trouble ahead, in losing to it. Not at all. Not at all. So it's like even the title now turn again around to face me now that I never see the trouble Troubles ahead. ahead. And we never see, see the, the trouble, trouble ahead. ahead. You know what I mean? So so it is a song that I think is one we could safely say it is his last recording. Alright? This is Toots last recording because his last collaboration. Okay. The topic of the song, the title of the song, Never See the Trouble Ahead. Wow. And it was very he was very into the topic. As then said, now I see the trouble ahead. Oh, you come up with that though. Because you come up with that I time? saw a snippet and we're going to be sharing it with you, ladies and gentlemen. As a matter of fact, I'm going to share the snippet with you right now. Take a, a look. 
Yeah, yeah man, this is one of them brand new releases that come at you. Know. Remember, I tell you that when I roll off a hilltop and it drops straight to your foot. You know. Yeah, man, that one of them never see the trouble ahead. Yeah. Featuring you know, wise words, Richie Innocent, and the reggae god himself, Toots. I tell you, people you know, can't go manage that one. You know. Never see the trouble ahead. What you say to them, Dada? Never see the trouble ahead. Them never know. They never see the trouble ahead. Them never feel it, you know, man. They never see the trouble ahead. Yeah, mm. big guy. Look out for that one that's coming soon. Yeah, see? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You saw Toots immediately just he went hard on the punchline. Never see the trouble ahead. And the way he sings it, I can just imagine him singing that song right now. He was just relaxed and calm, but if you look in his eyes, he looked like he was going somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He was seeing things and, and, and maybe that's why he was saying and putting so much passion into the world and there are what was that moment like for you oh i'm feeling a big stone um mm -hmm. you know i went into the studio to do um that song and of course thereafter we went to do um the the video promo mm -hmm. because um that snippet of that video that you last saw um mm -hmm. was a promo right? Right, right the song i must tell you was done by uh my poet brethren richie innocent um me and of course um the great man toots yeah now when i went to do the promo he was so willing because the song was taking no legs on, on, on the airwaves. Wow. Because I went hard with the promotion of the song. Okay, so you actually started to promote that song. I started already. to promote mm -hmm. the song. Yeah. Now everybody showed me love on that track. Of course, Mama Elise, who is such a big up dear yourself, friend. Elise, Kelly, big up, big up. Who is my such a mama. Dear friend. Everybody, Mama. Oh <laughs> my goodness, you understand? She, yeah. When she get that song, yeah. she didn't hesitate and the song just went full blast. And yeah. everybody thereafter, take on, you know, GT Taylor, Big A, Amber, Big Up on Herself from yeah. RFM who we'll showed yeah. the love, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, Toots, Toots was really and truly into the song. And even though when we're doing the video, and um, the song was so fresh in his head, but he could remember, never see the trouble ahead, never see the trouble ahead. And that was his lines. Yeah. Those were his lines because he said, this song has something in it. Wow. I feel it. And I always go around him with um, great energy. Whenever yeah. I hear the song playing, I always tape it wow. and send it to Nigel because Nigel Burrell, who is mm. the engineer of Toots, is the producer of that song. Wow. And of course, wow. big up to Raheem. Raheem is a 15-year-old son of Nigel who wow. make that rhythm. Wow, really? So Toots even consider Raheem to be his grandson. Wow. wow. And it's so his family. It's his family, family thing. He had no reservation, no reservation in doing the song with us. You know other artists will be saying that boy, them poetry, you know, reach down way. Told me I go collaborate with that, you know, gone away. Yeah. Toots but wasn't like that. No. Toots was an equal opportunity person. Right. That believe in. He always speak about the young upcoming artists. So where were you when you got the news that we have lost an icon? I was in my bed. I was in my bed. And of what, course, what time it was? Um, one, one thirty to, you know, going up in that same time. It was after one and um when i hear my phone ringing because my bed uh, my phone rests beside me mm -hmm. and i hear the phone ringing i just peep over and look so and i see nigel name come up and i said lord of mercy mm. you feel it said something. big stone you understand you can feel energy in a man energy is a presence why would nigel be calling at one o'clock in the morning exactly yeah. you know what i mean i'm a matter of fact where nigel um speak anytime still you know because yeah. you know i'm doing my album with nigel mm -hmm. so he can call me anytime okay but because okay. i know that toots was, was in the hospital right, right. and of course all sort of news was going out and yes, coming in and yes, so you yes. were trending on the board of uncertainty right yeah? yeah so when i see nigel name pop up on my phone you know i said lord i hate this job and i didn't answer I didn't answer the phone. I make it ring out and take a deep breath and swallow. I almost choked on my saliva, Big Stone. And I called him back and Nigel was in a somber mood. And Nigel said to me, say, words, well, I can't make you read the night paper, you know, I have to tell you. Oh, and I said, boy, now you're gone, you know. Now you're gone. And now Big Stone, believe me. Some bum take me, me I tell you, my brother. Me yeah. said them bigger and sour sap. A, a, a sour sap bum. See them, me I tell yeah. you, start take me now as me talk about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because says, here is this legendary figure of Toots. You know what I mean? 
and 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 this man who i just met who we had so much promise because he said to me wise words nigel you know, take this song and go and make yourself a man which you innocent take this song and go and make yourself a man out of so we didn't even have the slightest clue no no not at all and a matter of fact, when we're doing this song, we're not even looking how big we're going to get, how big we want to be and all them sort of something. There. We didn't even see status yeah. of this legendary icon. We're just grateful for the fact that um, this man was unreservedly so kind to us. Yes. And he gave us that song, Never See the Trouble Ahead. And that was one of his favorite songs. He was always singing it when he came into the studio with Nigel. Never see the trouble ahead. Never see the trouble ahead. He never see the trouble. And I said, Nigel, you know, it's we never see the trouble I do. You have it, you have it on, online? Uh, it's not online, but um, it's not online no, because uh, the song is um, not released. Oh, it's not released not officially? Released. No, not officially. But, yeah. uh, just because you said it was giving it some publicity. I am promoting okay. it. And okay. of course, because um, the album is out and, you know, okay. you are signed to um, the company. You okay. could just put out the song like that. Okay. okay. You know, we have the intention of getting it out there. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, the promo yeah. that we just shown is enough to kind of give the people them a yeah, synopsis. And, and, and we'll, can we play a little portion of the song? Of course. The, of the course. Intro? You know, the whole song okay, can be well, played. Okay. When we do mm -hmm. the editing and so on, we'll make sure that the, our fan base out there will get a chance to hear the song that my brother wise word has been talking about definitely so ladies no. and gentlemen for those who are just coming in i'm here with wise word entrepreneur dub poet extraordinaire and great human being and my friend we toured very uh a lot of places in kingston and the stop the crime and violence initiative and uh, we did it because we personally believe in doing our own little part in stemming the flow of bloodletting that has been happening in Jamaica. I'm here talking to him because he did this song, Never See the Trouble Ahead with Toots Hibbers. And as we know, and as the world knows, he's no longer with us. And uh, we just see you having fun memories. What is your all time favorite Toots Hibbers song? I mean, um, all of those songs that um, have been made public because um, as a youth, I used to hear my mother. Um, radio in the country playing um, Bam Bam, Sweet <laughs> and Dandy, and I think yeah, that yeah, yeah. Sweet and Dandy is one of the sweetest tune to me, you know? Sweet and Dandy, Sweet and Dandy, Sweet and Dandy, Sweet and Dandy, and I think that was a, is a, is a very nice tune, smooth tune, danceable yeah, tune, yeah, a fun yeah. tune, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah and of course, you know, one the my, 54, 46, yeah. you know? Well, that, that's another powerful tune, but one of my all-time favorites still, you know? Mm -hmm. It's monkey man. Yeah. Oh ah. man! Is that night? Is, is that night? Hugging of the big monkey man. Is that night? Is that night? Hugging of the big monkey man. I only heard of you. I see no sign of you. Hugging of the big monkey man. Oh my goodness, <laughs> big son. <laughs> Yo, oh, man. you know what, you know what, don't listen back to those songs and I'm very happy to say that at least those songs are preserved in its archive and they are timeless and we can always go back to listen to these songs. Yes. And offer my condolences to the Hibberts family. I had an opportunity of, of actually doing some work with Liba. Liba, oh. And um, it's just the other day you Great called me and I yes, gave I you a number and you got some work. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so my condolences to the family. I Definitely. really feel it, the world feel it, we all feel it, mm -hmm. and we all mourn the loss alongside with you. I've lost a mom and I've lost a dad, so I know exactly what it is to lose a father. Yes. But your loss could be elevated more than mine. Mine, my father was very sick for, you know, for a period of time, so we kind of expected it to happen with Toots. He was never sick for no long period of time. Uh -uh. We were shocked to hear that he was in the hospital and then he was medically induced. Induced, yeah. A medical induced coma. You know, a lot of my fans in out there have been calling me and asking me, what is a medically induced coma? I don't have a clue. I'm not a medical doctor. But I could just imagine that we take a person who is conscious right now mm -hmm. and give him sedative and that puts him in a 
sleep like coma. I know you've learned a lot of things from Toots, right? What if any one thing that you observe as a fellow artist, fellow musician, fellow entertainer, that will stay with you for the rest of your life and you can teach that to somebody else. What did you learn from the icon to Sibers? Humility. Wow. Humility. And it doesn't matter how big you are. It's, it, it, it just, it just, um, humbleness, it must be your forte. Because when I walk into the man's presence and see this, this giant of a man, you know what I mean? And this man seemed like a king to me, big stone. So humble, so respectful. You understand? Give me that smile, that warm smile. And the man was so humble. So it matters not how big you are as an artist. Humble. And respect even the minnows that are down here. Because everyone starts down here. So I take that from him. And of course, his hard working ways that he has. Every day that man is in the studio working, you know. At the age of 77, every day that man is in the studio working. Um. Of all your catalogs, mm -hmm. and I know you have quite a few songs, which one would you dedicate to Tootsie Birds? Well, of course, um, you know, there are poems and there are poems, and we have poems for even different occasions. But this poem, I call it Grave Thoughts. When bones no longer support flesh, when veins collapse and blood no longer flows, when the grave consume our bodies like prisoner of death and grass grows above like spreading carpet other than dust let frederick toots ebert rise like a poem because words never die yes big stone you almost brought me to tears man, man i'm telling you, i'm getting bumps all over my big stone very man. powerful I'm, I'm, I'm emotional cha 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 Mm. Yeah, that's how it is, that's how it is, man. Yes, sir, you know. Rest in powers, great one. Uh, I'm lost for words, but I must say this. A couple of months ago, a few months ago, uh, I'm working on a project, Sweet Reggae Music to the World. And of course, I had to have the wise words on this album. Mm -hmm. And we went into the studio, and this song, I think, if you ever had a chance with your loved one, I think that, you know, don't try to procrastinate and put off on. You never know because time is so short. And the reason why I like this song is, it's going to explain it to you. Yes. Perhaps. Perhaps. The poem is entitled, Perhaps. And people, let me tell you that I have Big Stone is somebody who is always giving of his time. He almost gave away everything that he has. So I dubbed him. What do I call again? The custodian of orphanage. The custodian of orphanage. <laughs> because I see him as a, one of the Mother Teresa, you know what I mean? The Indira Gandhi, you know what I mean? Those philanthropists was always been given. So Big Stone called me to the studio and said, Why is words have a rhythm? Come do something on it. And of course, when I hear the rhythm and I hear the horns, oh, it's sweet and Deep all of that. You know? Deep Fraser. Deep Fraser, blow, blow those horns, man, you know? Yeah. So I did this poem named um, Perhaps. Perhaps I should have done this a long, long time. Perhaps I should flip the reversible switch and carve my own pathways like a fox trekking through its forest. Perhaps I should have stayed up later at nights before eyes squinted and heads bowed. Perhaps I never know how. Perhaps, Perhaps. the time <laughs> is now. <laughs> Perhaps I should wield my pen like a two-edged sword and cut through the minds of doubtful mentality. Scared, maybe. Fearful, maybe, for the things that I should have, could have, and didn't do. Perhaps I should follow the trail wind and land within touching distance. Perhaps the opportunity had arise and slip from my grasp like sand through the hourglass. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> what if I should hold a meds and find some street cred, sip some brew and try something new? What if the ink from my pen should drip like a broken faucet, overflowing books that will last beyond the end of time? Perhaps the time will come again. Perhaps I don't know when. Perhaps the opportunity had arise and slip from our grass like sand through the hourglass. Perhaps the force that brings forth our energies is twisted like mangled metals, but we can inspire others with words as soft as petals. Perhaps the poet has written 
still writing. Writing to right our wrongs right the next time. Combining the laws of average with a different theory. Perhaps. 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 <laughs> That's the perhaps. Yes, uh, and Big Stone has that one under his wing. So if you don't hear it in the public space, then you have to chastise him. You have to perhaps. chastise him. We're working on, on doing the final touch on the album. Of course, we're going to have Libra. But no, I don't think it's the right time to really talk to Libra. Right. In doing any form of production. But um, our hearts close with her. And as soon as she's well again, you know, it's, it's, it's going to take some time. But. We, we, we get it in the studio and finish up the song. Definitely so. And before, dedicate before I go Big Father. Stone, of course, I want to extend my thanks to you as always. We, as you said, we have met on the Stop the Crime and Violence. We got through some you know, inner cities of Kingston. And of course, you in particular have showed me how to carve my own pathway like a fox trekking through his furrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you always tell me, perhaps the time is now. Yeah. I want to thank the people. I want to thank those who in the radio who have assisted me out of nothing at all, out of those sheer love, using their own spirit, you understand, to really and truly propel wise words to where he's right about now. I want to thank, of course, Lady Renee from Irie, the whole Irie, Mama Elise Kelly, wherever you are, madam, I salute you. I want to thank GT Taylor. I want to thank Amber, Big A, the rest of the crew. I want to thank, of course, Denise Isis Miller of Roots FM. Anywhere you are, madam, we thank you so much. I want to thank, of course, my brother out there in England, DJ Little Richie, who is pushing poetry over the next side of the globe so that people can hear these words. Thank you. I want to thank you for supporting, for watching my videos. Of course, you can check me out on Facebook at Wise Words. You know, the Wise Words is spelled W-I-S-E-W-U-R-D-Z. So the words is spelled W-U-R-D-Z. You can hit me up on Facebook. You can hit me up on Instagram, Wise underscore Words. Of course, Twitter, the same Wise Words. You can shoot me an email, wisewords67 at gmail.com. That's wisewords67 at gmail.com. Thanks to my producers, of course, Spread the Glory. My EP is coming up before the end of this year. I mean, thanks to Spread the Glory, a DJ selector from Base of the Sound System. Thanks, of course, to Nigel Burrell, who is, of course, um, streamlining my album, you know, in further time to come. Thanks to young Raheem Burrell, who is making the beats. So I want to thank and, and, and of course, you know, elaborate on not everybody, but most people. So thank you so much. Big Stone, thanks again, my brother. Powerful, powerful. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Everton Lawrence, a.k.a. Wise Word. Of course, and of and course. W-U-R-D-Z, but in a Jamaica, we said Z. Z, yes, man. And right, Richie Innocent. Big up yourself. Richie Innocent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you didn't know this, but you have to leave us with one of your poems that's been doing great in the streets. we closing off with you. Because slavery is abolished and we look so smooth and polished. Because the chain no longer binds us together and we can roam in any kind of weather. Are we free yet? Remnants of our slave master still remains. When we struggle day to day and stress out our brain. When the sacrifices are made and nothing we gain. Are we free yet? If you can live in big houses and the common man can't afford a pair of trousers. If you can travel to Paris and London and the use from the streets feels abandoned. Then are we free yet? When the system push us over the edge, make we plead and beg and cast bloodshed. When black skill blacks back to back machine, them got common sense them lack. Then are we free yet? Oh, so it's a man's world. Who's gonna protect those innocent young girls who are being raped, strangled to death, make mama sit down her doorstep and fret? Tears she cry as she watched her son gun down and die. Are we free yet when the borders of Caribbean nationals are restricted from its own people? When the axe tax is chopping away at our salaries, causing our pride to fall flat and pharmaceutical products fly from the shelves without wings, making bleaching cream the new solution to erode our blackness? But are we free yet, Big Stone, when we fail to recognize who we are as a people, when we fail to see class and honor the past, like Walter Shizulu, Marcus Garvey, the legendary Marcus Garvey, the man got tired to see me face like Robert Nesta Marley. Every man should have a plan. Every African should have a plan. Like Obama. Yes, we can. But until then, 
Are we free yet? I didn't let in the dogs in here barking in the background. <laughs> they are the not dogs. free yet. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please like, share, and make your comment. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, this is your time to do so. Thank you very much for watching. That's the far. Blessings. I, uh, yes, I give thanks, big story. <laughs>